This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Hey, good morning. Thought I'd give you a little uh, extra on this whole setup thing. Hey, you ever wonder why I'm sitting here in these clothes like this? Uh, remember I told you I lost all that weight? I lost 50 pounds. Well, these are the extra large clothes that I used to fit into really, really well, too. Uh, now they do kind of hang off me, but they're great clothes to work out in, so I think I can't see getting rid of them. Go over the setup with you on the ball one more time. First of all, this morning, I do have my feet. You can't see them, but the uh, toes are locked up under an ottoman here we have. Now, that's a good way of making sure that you're stable, if you're, especially if you're having any stability issues at all with the ball. The ball is one of the greatest tools in the world as far as getting your sit-ups in without messing with your lower back. Keep yourself setting just forward of the center of the top of the ball. If you notice here behind me, you should be able to see that. I'm not quite in the center here. I'm actually sitting on top of the ball but to the front of it. When you're ahead of the center of the ball, this gives your back some place to lay. Right back there. Now, right now, the lower back is on the ball. When you come up like this, then you want to go ahead and keep back to that. That's your touch point. That is where you want to be going. Now, the key to any success in a setup, and I don't care how you do them, is to keep these abs tight. Okay? Your abs need to be tight the entire time. You have to make sure that your abs are tight. It's right here in your head. Think about what you're doing. Think and concentrate on this effort alone. As you're going back there, don't let your legs pull you up. Don't let the weight of your shoulders bring you up. Let your abs do all the work. That's the key to a successful setup. Okay? Very simple. I cross my hands right here, or you can go like this. Uh, it's very simple either way. And what you do is very simply go back and up and up and up. Okay, now you notice. I'm not coming all the way up, and I'm not going all the way back. Why? Simple. Any movement past this point, any, when you get up to here, any movement past this point is wasted energy because your abs aren't doing the work anymore. Gravity is. Gravity's pulling you forward. Same thing in the back. Anytime you go past here, if you go back like this, gravity is pulling you back. You want to keep your focus on your abs. So let's do 50 of them and see how this works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Now, that's how it works. Very simple exercise. Back and forth, and you don't want this huge amount of movement. You don't want to go past that back point. You don't want to go past the front point. You want to keep a nice, controlled, deep on your abs. That's the part that's going to make the difference. Okay. Everything else is just show or exhibition or whatever you want to call it. And I know a lot of guys that are in the exhibition, believe me. That's fine. Okay, nothing wrong with strutting around like a peacock, hey, especially when it's single guys and they're young, you know they're going to, and that's not a problem. Now, older guys like us that uh, got a wife, we got a stable family, we're not looking to go out there and uh, impress the world, but we want to stay fit. We want to be able to uh, enjoy our life, play with our grandkids, uh, be healthy, be healthier. Uh, not have to invest and worry about times in doctors. Uh, this is strictly to stay good. You don't have to worry about a six-pack ab, guys. That's not how it looks. Six-pack abs are nice. 
okay? They look good, and if you're out there looking for a partner, you know, you don't have to worry about it, that's fine. Um, hey, of course you want to look fit for your spouse. You want to look fit for your kids. You want to be an example for your kids. You want to be attractive to your spouse. Normal stuff. But, you know, don't, don't be thinking that you have to rip down and be, uh, you know, a bodybuilder to attract your mate. That's not the only reason she married you. Okay? <laughs> Guys, have a great day, a blessed day. Get those sit-ups done and stay with it. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine.